Welcome back, y'all, to Disciple Diagnostics. Today we got a 19 Camry with a check engine light. Let me show you. So you see, we got a check engine light. Um, I'm about to go ahead and scan for codes and check out and see what I'm getting. So let's do a health check. All right, we got a PO3613 heater control circuit, bank one says sensor two circuit open. Most likely we potentially have a open in this circuit. This is the circuit where the computer cons controls the heater in the O2 sensor. On this circuit, normally the computer will control the ground um, it will, and it will be pulse width modulation. So um, what I would like to do is start by performing a visual inspection and, and then go from there. Actually, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to the engine. And I wanna see if this is a hard code. Because if it sets, if it sets back right away after I clear it, that will tell me that we most likely have an open circuit. Oh, it didn't set back right away. Hmm, interesting. Oh, I think it's gonna... Yeah, it's gonna set back. All right, yeah, so most likely we have an open circuit. Let me, let me pull the data list and see if I... what information I get here. So check this out guys, I pulled the data and the bank sen uh, sensor one, bank one sensor one is showing 45 ohms. But bank one sensor two, which is the one setting the code, we're getting like around 5,300 ohms. So that high resistance values indicates that, yeah, we most likely have an open here. So I'm gonna go and perform a visual inspection and, and go from there. Then after that, probably go and test, uh, look at the diagram and all that. So let's go. All right, guys, so I'm on the need performative visual inspection and I don't really see anything. Uh, the, I already checked the connector. Uh, it's not loose or anything. Wiring looks good, and also check the. I also check the if the O2 sensor was OEM, because the, those aftermarket can cause a lot of issues. This one, of no, I don't know if you all can see. It says Toyota, so this one is OEM. So I guess my next step will be to check the wiring diagram. So let's do that. So here's the circuit of the O2 sensor. We got the ECM controlling the ground side of the heater. And then we got a, the feed is coming through this fuse, which is getting the voltage from this relay right here. And which then we have this fuse and then it goes straight to the battery, uh, from the battery. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go and test, either test directly at this fuse or this one. Yeah, and then go from there. So let's go. So I got my test light uh, connected to ground. I'm gonna test, make sure I got a good connection. It's good. So now I'm gonna test the main feed to the to to the O2 sensor uh, heater through this fuse right here. Uh, we got power on both sides, so we tested first here, and this one was good. So now what I'm gonna go ahead and do and test this other one, and if in case that one tests good. That will indicate then a wiring issue or the O2 sensor or something else. So let's go. 
it's the fuse so let's go ahead and check uh, we got power on both sides yeah so let's go now and check directly right at the O2 sensor in order to do that before going on the need I like to connect my power pro uh, reason why is because I will use it not I'm not going to really use it for testing but mainly to have a known good ground and power feed let's go so the O2 sensor gets the main feed from pin number two which is this one right here this is the the looking at the connector from the front so let's go ahead and test it so I'm supplying the ground to my test light from the power pro ground so let's go ahead and test that pin gonna just touch it really not pressing at all and we got good power so let's go back to the diagram and see what are we gonna do next so we know we got power here now the the variables is uh, that either we missing there is an open in the in the sensor itself or there is an issue in this uh, wiring right here or the one last variable could be the driver itself in the ECM so I'm gonna probably go ahead and check perform an ohm test and check the resistance inside the O2 on the heater circuit to see if we have an open there or not. So now I'm checking the resistance value. Um, I hook up my connectors to terminals one and two. Um, so I already have my leads from my meter and I'm getting 172 ohms so this value is way too high this one is going to need a new O2 sensor no question about it but here's the thing let's say we're not 100% sure about that and, and then we want to check if we have a pulse width modulated signal here and if the, AC, the ACM is controlling, so let's... So I have that control wire pierced and I have my lead coming from my scope connected and look, we got a pulse. So this is it guys. We, this is 100% confirmation that we have control on that circuit, which means that the ACM driver is good and this confirms 100% that our issue is the, the O2 sensor, the heater uh, element in the O2 sensor. Right now it's pulsing, probably after a few minutes it's gonna drop because after when the ACM sees that the, there is a high resistance in the circuit, it will uh, stop trying to control. Let me see if I can show you also with the test light so check this out guys i'm supplying power to to the test light and the acm is perfectly controlling the ground side i don't know if you all can see how it's pulsing this is 100 percent confirmation that this circuit is totally fine that our issue is on the O2 sensor itself, the heater element in the O2 sensor. So I hope you like this video. Um, see you all on the next one.